everybody, I'm Kate. I'm here today in Crate Kitchen with Breville, and today we are gonna make the most beautiful gingerbread star tree. Let's go. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sift our dry ingredients together. I'm gonna take our flour, I'm gonna take the baking soda, and then I'm gonna take all these beautiful warming spices. We've got some nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt because I love a little bit of salt in my baking. It just really makes all of those flavors really pop and come together. So I've got all my dry ingredients in the sifter and I'm just gonna gently tap. And now we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together in one bowl. Add the molasses, which is really the key to a gingerbread cookie of what gives it that dark, rich flavor. I'm gonna use my mixer to cream these ingredients together. Now I've creamed my butter and my sugar together. I'm gonna add one egg into the batter and then we're gonna mix again. We want everything to be really well mixed together before we add those dry ingredients into our dough. The next step we're gonna do is add our dry ingredients into our wet. We're gonna do that in stages so that it doesn't blow up and so that also it gets really evenly distributed until that dough comes together. We're just gonna get it to about this part I'm gonna use flour all over this board because we do not want this dough to stick. I'm gonna turn this out onto here, and I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm not kneading it, I'm just pulling it together. Now that that dough is all pulled together, I like to divide the dough. So I'm gonna cut this in half, and then in half again. Wrap these in parchment paper really loose. We're gonna chill this in the refrigerator for at least four hours. It helps the dough to firm up so that when you're rolling it out, it's much easier to work with. We are gonna use these gorgeous star cookie cutters. For this recipe, you're gonna need to do four of each size of these cookie cutters. The very most important thing you're doing when you're working with dough that needs to be rolled out is you need to flour your board. Got one of my chilled doughs here. And the first thing I like to do with the dough is just sort of use my hands to just break it in and then I'm gonna go to town with this guy. You need to ensure that your dough is at an even thickness. If it's not even, it's gonna cook at different times. Okay, let's do this. Cut four of each size. I'm gonna to move to a smaller one and get those four. The best way to transfer cookies is to use a wide spatula. And then I'm gonna put them on a parchment-lined baking sheet. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my Breville Smart Oven Air Fryer. The beauty of this is it takes less than five minutes to preheat. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn this to the cookie setting, and then I'm gonna turn the convection oven off and turn the temperature down to 300 degrees, and then just push start. Oven's preheated. Let's bake off our first batch of cookies. My kitchen smells amazing, which tells me those cookies are done. Let's go get them. Oh, they're perfect. We wanna leave them on the pan that they cooked in for five minutes. The cookies have cooled for five minutes and now I'm just gonna transfer them to a cooling rack where we need them to cool completely before we decorate them. We're gonna make a really easy royal icing for decorating our cookies. This is super simple. It's just three ingredients, powdered sugar, meringue powder, and water. I'm gonna start by adding the meringue powder into a bowl. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of warm water. I'm just gonna continue to whisk this until it gets a little bit foamy. Now that we have that foam, I'm gonna sift in the powdered sugar. And now I'm just gonna use my whisk and pull it together. This is exactly what you're looking for. If you can see that consistency. Okay, we're ready for the fun part. Let's start decorating those cookies. Let's get started with the dots on the edges. So I'm gonna work away from myself and then go closer to myself so that I'm not going over parts of the cookie that I've already decorated. See, anybody can do these. This one's really easy. Okay, the next design I'm gonna do is dots all the way around the edges. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you one more design on your cookie. I'm gonna start at the tip of each edge and come into the middle. Okay, then from the center, I'm gonna draw a line a little bit out, create a little bit of a star pattern. Okay, and then to finish this design, I'm just gonna create two dots on the end of each tip. There we go. How pretty is that? All the cookies are fully decorated. We are ready to make this gingerbread star tree. Our royal icing is now gonna become the glue. I'm gonna start with a little bit of glue right here on the plate to hold that first cookie in place. A little more glue in the middle, second cookie. I'm gonna give it a gentle little push. Just gonna keep building. 
Okay, look at her, she's so pretty. This has been so much fun to put together. The last cookie put two rather big dollops on here, and then I'm gonna place this guy like this. Okay, there you have it, our gingerbread star tree. For more Crate Kitchen recipes, see the collection in the Breville Plus app. Thanks for spending your day with me, bye.